guys, it's Ashani and Fuko here, and I'm down in Lower Manhattan at the Gelsey Kirkland Academy of Classical Ballet, and I'm here with co-artistic director Misha Chernoff. The students here are so talented. I mean, you guys are doing an amazing job. Tell me, what is a day in the life of a student here in the program? Uh, well, the full-time students, and there's about 60 of them, um, started about 9 o'clock in the morning with core dynamics, which is a system of isolation and strengthening of the core and rotation. Then they have ballet class for about an hour and three quarters, point class, men's class, variations, uh, repertoire, a couple of character classes a week, um, music, wellness, and uh, I must be forgetting something. Oh, yes, yeah, stretch classes, aerobics classes. So you have like the full comprehensive yeah. dancer, professional dancer training, ballet, wellness, everything. You can get it all in one place. Yes, and I forgot probably the most important thing, which is the acting and mime classes. I'm glad I put them special. Yes. Because they are special. That's part of our mission is to um, put the inside of the egg back into ballet. Mm -hmm. So that it's not just the shell, mm -hmm. but the whole egg. And so people get nourishment. That's wonderful. I love that. So we saw um, your advanced students dancing today. Where are your students coming from to come to this school? They're coming from all over the United States. We hold national auditions in January, February, March. We also have students from uh, coming from overseas later on this year. Um, so, yeah. So one thing that you told me about is that you have a program with Pace University, which is right down the street from here. Yeah. Tell me about your program with Pace University. Uh, it's a new program, as you just uh, pointed out. Uh, they, our students can get their BFA while they're here. So everything that they do here can be a credit towards a college degree, um, either as a major or as a elective, depending on what they choose to do. If it's a BFA, I believe it's a major. If they're doing something else, like then they can use this as a, an elective. Um, and even in the summer, we're going to have a, a program for high school students connected with PACE so they can get advanced college credits. Oh, that's amazing. So you have your advanced professional training, then you have programs for young kids and, and the little ones as well. Tell me about your yeah. other programs. Well, uh, we have two children's programs. It's uh, the, what's called the after school program, which is by audition only, it's a high level. And then we have the general children's program, which is just anyone taking Voc what's that? Not vocational, recreation. 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 And we have pre ballet also, so starting at three or four years of age. Yeah. It's, it's still small because mm -hmm. we only started the children's program about six or seven months ago. But the after school program has been running ever since we started. Yeah. Very cool. And how long have you guys been here? We've been here all of two years. And this is our third academic year, which we started in September. And it's grown so much in such a short period of time. Yeah, it's it's been growing. Uh, we've been trying to keep up with the growth. Yeah. We're trying to um, assimilate now because, uh, as you know, we have five studios here. Some of them are huge. Mm -hmm. I've seen them. <laughs> and we also now have a costume storage department and a costume making department, which is downstairs. Um, and lots of lobby space, skylights. It's a beautiful space. It's yeah. I, you wouldn't think so from outside when you come in. You're like, oh, okay, and then you walk in and you're like, whoa, what yeah. is going on? But it's it's great. Well, the good thing is it was a dilapidated building and empty for five years, and so we've revived it. You know, it's taken quite a bit of work and made it your own. I love that.
I mean, basically. <laughs> well, you may ask why I'm being interviewed, and uh, Gelsie. Gelsie's uh, not a very public person. She mm -hmm. likes to teach and direct. Um, so she pushes me into right. these positions. <laughs> <laughs> Which you're very good at, by the way. Thank you. Uh, Gelsie, what's what makes it special? Gelsie's brought together a lot of different things. What she's absorbed in her life and is trying to pass it on. She had uh, also different training. So David Howard, uh, Stanley Williams, Danish teacher. Uh, she had later on. She danced with a lot of Russians and learned a lot from them. And then went on to. When she started teaching, she realized she needed a strong system so that she wouldn't get, you know, confused about what the students needed. So we learned the Russian system of teaching. We did a course, and, uh, and so we have uh, we have teachers here from Russia. We have teachers here from the Royal Danish Ballet. We have teachers here from Australia, all over, the, you know, globe. That's wonderful, and that's what makes the school so unique. Yeah. Your, your dancers are some of the most beautiful young ballet dancers that I've ever seen. They are beautiful. Yeah. I, I should mention also that Pilar Garcia, who was Gelsie's mind coach mm -hmm. during her career, is one of our teachers here. Wow. Incredible. Uh, so some of the posters that you see here in the lobby are original Ballet Russe posters that were very kindly donated to us by David Howard. Uh, this one here and the other two, one behind me, and that one over there. We're now in the costume closet. It is ridiculous down here. Gosh, uh, Shanine, I look, need this. Why don't you try I, this uh, one on? You know on. what? I need this in my life. <laughs> I really do. Yeah, we have, yes. we have some stunning stuff. Uh, if you glance, I, I won't put this one on. But yeah, that's not bad. It looks good on you. <laughs> I love it. And then there's this this, wow. this incredible, as you said, a one of a kind. Oh yeah. We've got a lot of this kind of stuff. Of course, we've got the standard tutus and uh, romantic tutus. Um, we have everything down here. We have a full production of Giselle. Um, here's Giselle. Oh. We bought this from a, 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 a Russian uh, company. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, we're also making costumes now, so after this we'll, we'll walk through to the costume making facility. For each show, uh, where uh, we produce a lot of our own costumes, except for the ones we bought already, um, we're doing a full production of Nutcracker next December, that's 2013, and so we're currently making the costumes for that. Uh, we have a designer from St. Petersburg in Russia, Katya Rapai, who is actually at the moment here supervising the pattern making and costume making. So we'll probably meet her in the other room. Some amazing men stuff. These are the Arabian costumes for next year's Nutcracker. We'll actually be previewing some of them in our December show this year uh, in Corsair. So they're going to make a, an early appearance. Um, they're stunning. That's just not here, the designer, but I mean today, she was meant to be here. But, you know, these are really stunning, stunning dresses the girls will wear for Romeo and Juliet. This is the pillow dance from Romeo and Juliet, obviously they're not. Um, Ashani, are you warm enough in your coat? You know, I'm feeling very... Well, can I just make an adjustment, maybe? Oh, there. <laughs> Thank you, appreciate it. It's very cool down here, first of all. So I see you keep the costumes in very Absolutely. good shape and take good care of them. But it's very cool, but I'm, I'm warm now. Good. So tell me about what's happening. Um, well, so we here we have two physio, physical therapy tables. Uh, we've got an association also with Physio Arts. Physio Arts is a physical therapy company that works for dancers. I think 90% of their clientele are dancers. And they do an assessment of every single student who, who's in our course. Full 45 minute assessment, turnout, strengths, weaknesses, so we know previous, il uh, previous injuries, etc. So we know what, um, what to expect from the student, what we should be helping them with, etc. Like that. So they, 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 you know, they, they have their sessions here and the students 
benefit, obviously. Oh yeah, and you have Pilates here also. I saw the, the reformers yeah. upstairs. Yeah, we have three reformer beds, and uh, we have private uh, lessons one-on-one, -on -one, group re lessons, reformer bed lessons. So as you can see, they have the most beautiful costumes and fashion here at the Gelsey Kirkland Academy of Classical Ballet. And I'm here with Misha, and he's been such a great tour guide. It's Thanks. been wonderful. Thank you for welcoming us here and giving us a tour of the costume room. I'm taking this coat home and also just allowing us to come and watch the classes. And I think that people will be very excited to learn about what's happening here. Thanks, Ashani. Thank you. See you guys next time.